What's up everyone, this is Game Galaxy Zone, and today I wanted to walk you through a cool tutorial on how to uh, play Demon Souls on your computer. So I wanted to make this video because I haven't found any like audio versions of what I'm doing. Uh, most of the tutorials online are kind of old I think too. Um, this one actually walks you through everything, it's very easy, very simple to do. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to download the emulator, the ROM, the patch for the emulator, how to use controller support, how to fix all of the graphical and display errors with Demon Souls, and a few other things to point out as well. So this video is the complete package on how to fix everything for Demon Souls, get it running and having a fun time. So I'll be providing all the links that I'm going to be doing down in the description as well, if none of them work please message me or comment so that I can potentially fix them or give you other links. <laughs> so, but anyway, here is how to begin your exciting world of Demon Souls on an emulator. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is download the emulator itself, which is off of the RPCS3 website. This is a uh, website where the emulator exists for PS3. Uh, you can find it by just typing in this on Google. And once you get to this website, or just go to the link down below, either or, but once you get here, you're going to go up to download. And on download, you have your two choices. You have download for Windows or download for Linux. There is no Mac option for this as far as I know, so rip Mac users, but it is here for both Linux and Windows. Once you get that, it'll probably show up as a .exe file or a .rar file. It'll look like this, just this file should appear. So you won't see any of this for the time being, we'll get into that. The other thing you're going to need, and I'll provide the exact link for this because it's kind of hard to find this website, and this is the PlayStation 3 so uh, system software update version 4.82. It also includes 8.0 and 8.1. You just click download here, and this will give you this file, which looks a little weird, but just just know that that's what that is. And last but not least is the ROM for Demon Souls. Now there's a few places that you can find this ROM. Um, the easiest way to find it for me is to just go here and type in um, Demon Souls ROM, and it'll be the first link that comes up, which is this exact website that I have over here. There you go, exact same. So once you come onto here, if you scroll down to where it says show download links, click that, make sure you're not a robot, because we're all robots. And then click the little link for this. This is gonna take you to an AdFly mega page. Just wait the four seconds, and then you can go past it, grouping that it's not some weird website. You can close the previous page, because it's gonna open a new one. And this will take you to the RAR folder. Um, you are going to pretty much just click download as a zip. It'll start downloading down here. Um, it'll be like a green download first. It's just gonna get all of the data that it needs and then it will actually download the file. Meg is a little weird, the website. Um, I don't know if it's gonna download correctly. I know Meg is kind of weird, like I just said, with how they download stuff. But if it doesn't, I do have a potential other link, but I don't really use that one too much because it was kind of weird, um, but it will do what it needs to do. If not, I can try to upload these files myself, so but I'd rather not do that if I really don't have to. But if you download it, you are going to need all 12 of these RAR files in order for Demon's Souls to work. If you don't, then the game will not work or run at all. So make sure that when you do get it and extract it, you have all 12 of these and that it's going to work correctly. It'll actually tell you if you don't have the files needed if you try to do it or extract it wrong. But I'll supply web pages for both this, the RAR file page, or the ROM file page, and the mega link. So if this works, great. If not, sorry, but I'm trying. So after you get that, you're going to probably just download them to like your downloads folder. Just make folders for it. Keep them in a place where you know you're going to get to it and stuff like that. Usually I have all this stuff in my downloads folder, but the video I made previous to this uh, got corrupted and now I'm redoing it, so this is a lot easier to explain. <laughs> but anyway, you're going to extract RCPS. Um, so once you click this, you just come into here, 
If you have 7-zip or WinWAR, or if your computer has an extraction system, then this is great because you're going to need it. But uh, here's all these files that are basically going to come out of this. So you just extract it to a folder. It's not going to probably have maybe all these files at first, so just beware if it's not the exact same. Like this is a personal folder. This is the old version of this program. So just keeping a heads up on that. So once you get this, um, you're going to want to run the RPCS3 exe. Now I'm not sure if it needs to be run in administrator mode or not. Just to do that you can right click and hit run as administrator. If this isn't showing up then there are other ways to do it. Um, I'm not going to run it in administrator mode. That's what actually uh, corrupted my video before because it's just how I'm recording. So I'm actually just going to launch the program. <laughs> Okay, so now that we launched it, it's not going to look um, exactly like this for right now, so just keep an eye on that. But um, basically what we have in here is you're not going to see Demon Souls. It's not going to say this, so don't worry about that. It's because I moved it to um, the thing on the desktop. But once you get here, you're going to click on to File, and you're going to hit Install Firmware. This is the first thing you need to do. So when you get this, it might take you to your downloads folder. You just basically want to navigate to find the PS3 update file that you downloaded. You double click it, launch it, and it'll come back to here and it'll give you a window that's going to be there for like a few seconds and then it'll say, you know, installation complete, yada, yada, yada. So once you do that, you can close out of our PS3. And this is where you're going to extract your Demon Souls file to. So in the folder that you extracted RPCS3 into, you're going to find a dev.hdd0 folder. You're going to double click that. You're going to find disk. And this is where you're going to put the file for Demon Souls. Now the Demon Souls file is going to look like this here. It'll be a zip folder. It's going to take a fairly long time to extract because there is 12 RAR files that it's extracting from. And once you're done, um, yeah, these are the RAR files that you get. Uh, once you're done with that, extracting it, you take the folder and put it into the disk folder and it's basically done. Um, in here, it has an update for the PS3 file. Don't use that. I'm just pointing that out. But once it's in there, you're pretty much good. And after that, you're going to relaunch the RPCS3 program, and you should see Demon Souls in that folder. So once you do that, then we get into part two of this, which is adjusting all of the stuff and configuring to make sure that the program is going to run correctly. So once we get into here and you have Demon Souls up, you're going to right click on it and hit configure. I need to point this out right away make sure that you are configuring by doing this setup here by clicking it and right click um, if you hit configure and do one of these this configures the emulator not the rom that you're running so anything that you configure here will not transfer to the rom i don't know why it does that it's just the way it's laid out so make sure that you configure it in here once you open this this is going to look a little bit different from yours just uh pretty much highlight everything that needs to be checked off in here these three options right here, the recompiler, the other recompiler, and the load only system, these will all be checked hopefully when you first uh, launch the program. So if not, uh, make sure that they are. Preferred SPU threads are not gonna be set to three. They're gonna be set to auto. Make sure to set it to like two. I would recommend two for doing this. Um, I have three because I have a bit uh, higher processor, but um, for first launching this, set it to two. This is recommended of one of two things that need to be preferred settings. Um, if you don't set this to two, the game is going to run very, very laggily and sloppily, and it's going to be choppy. It's going to be really, really bad experience to play this game or this ROM if you don't set this. So set it to two. You can set it to three or other higher if you want, but I'd recommend doing it to two to start. And additional settings, I believe one or two of these are checked. Check the enable thread scheduler, lower SPU thread priority, and enable SPU loop detection. Um, this will help run the game a little bit smoother as well. Once you have all this set up, we come over to the big crucial point. So we hit the GPU tab. 
on this under the renderer settings. Make sure that it's set to OpenGL. Do not use the other three settings. It will not load the game correctly. It'll have the black screen issue that is one of the big apparent things that people don't know about when playing the game and that I'm going to be doing the fix for here. So make sure that you set it to OpenGL. Don't set it to Null, don't set it to Vulkan, do not set it to the thing that says do not use, obviously. So just hit OpenGL. The aspect ratio will be 16 by 9. The frame limit should be off, and the anospotrotic pick filter, whatever the heck this is, will be set to automatic. You can change this if you want. Um, you don't really have to. I recommend just leave it on automatic anyway, because the game's not going to be all that much different. Up here we get into another setting. The game will not run in any 1080p setting at all. If you try to, it will run some laggy issues and the game will try to freeze and crash and other things. It's not a good experience. So you have three options. 1280 by 720 which is a 720p resolution. 720 by 480 which is a 480p resolution. And the oddball 720 by 576 which is a 576 resolution. Um, you can click those, but preferably you might want to run it in 1280 by 720. Do not do 1920 by 1080, 1600 by 1080, 1440, 1280, and 960 by 1080 because all of these are in 1080p and will not run the game right. Now we hit the final big thing. Right here, right color buffers. Um, I can't move my mouse back down to the descriptions, but under the description on the bottom, this thing down here, it says required for demon souls. This is absolutely correct. If you turn this off, you will get a black screen overlay, which means that all of the hood, all of the icons, all of the menuing, and all of the start systems will appear, but none of the backgrounds, so which means you'll be roaming around in a world that's completely pitch dark, um, which is hard enough as it is playing this game. So. <laughs> Make sure that you turn this on so that you can actually play the game. I'd also recommend turning on GPU texture scaling and strict rendering mode. Um, you don't have to turn these on at all. You can actually keep all of these off. Um, this won't be on either. But make sure that this is, and then if you want, you can turn these other things on. And then, of course, you have your other settings. You don't have to change anything in here, but if you want, you can. You have I.O. Um, you have audio. That's audio, I.O. The system, you can change the language. Um, it might be in Japanese at first, so depending on what you're doing, change it. Um, the network settings and the emulator settings. So once you do that, make sure you absolutely save it so that everything stays the same. And we get on to the third and last thing that is the best thing about this. Um, for this, you're actually going to go up to the configure options in the emulator, and you're going to come down to pads. In pads, this allows you to set up a controller support for like um, DualShock or an Xbox 360 controller along with other things. I will mention this, DS4 program will not work with the emulator ROM. Um, I've tried, I've tried messing around with settings for it, it will not detect it on the emulator. It's kind of upsetting. So if you were thinking, hey I can use my PS4 controller with DS4, it will not work. Now, Bluetooth, completely different story, but my computer does not have Bluetooth. I need to pick up a drive for that at some point. But for now, it does not support DS4, sadly. So how do you get an Xbox controller to work? So I'm using a Xbox 360 after, Afterglow controller. And what you do is you set it to X input, um, set this to in pad zero one, or uh, yeah, X input pad zero, number zero. Um, this will be set to default profile, and then you just hit configure, and in this you're going to want to change all of the options for the controller, which is very easy. You can't see me do it, but I'm going to hold my controller. You come up here, let's say the D-pad, um, when you click on it, it'll give you a countdown timer, so if you don't click anything, it'll just say whatever it is. However, if you click it, and let's say I press left on my D-pad, up now becomes left, and then up needs to be up. And you do all these settings for everything on the controller, so that way it is completely viable and playable. Once you do that, you hit save, and then you hit add profile. You can give it a name, and I gave it the Xbox Demon Souls profile, so I know what I'm using. And then you can click OK. From there, as long as you followed everything in this tutorial right, you should be 100% good to go to be able to just double click the game 
and have it run. Now, as you can see, um, this is the first thing that will appear. This will happen if you either delete the VLC, I believe it is, or whatever system thing it's called. Um, deleting this will not cause any problems to the game. You won't lose any save data. This is just a compiler system to get all of the settings uh, right to pretty much play. So this screen will appear anytime you move RCP emulator with the ROM folder as well. Um, it'll have to reload all this, so make sure that if you do find a place to put this to keep it in one uh, folder. Um, if not, the next time you run it, it'll just load the screen and you won't have to wait for this, which is kind of unfortunate on why I have to. So I will catch you guys when this is all done. It took a little longer than I thought it did. Um, but once it's finished, the game will launch perfectly fine, get into it, and pretty much go from there. So you might be thinking, wow, this really sucks that you know the resolution of this or the screen size of this is quite small. Well, you can just do that. <laughs> The resolution of the game stays the resolution, um, it'll just upscale the graphics, but you can make the screen bigger. Now of course this just made it so that the application is right here. You can actually move the whole application over so that it runs correctly, but it is what it is. Once you do that, it should load pretty much fine. So from here I'm going to load into a character that I already have and pretty much give you an example of how the game looks and runs. So it's going to be a little weird for me to load it at first because um, of me resetting it. It's going to lag a little bit because it's recompiling all of the graphics that the game deloaded beforehand. So, but as you can see, the game's running completely fine at a 30 FPS rating. It does stutter every now and then, it's not 100% perfect, and like I said, it's doing that because it's compiling all of the shaders. Now if you run through the area uh, on the first time beforehand, this actually looks perfectly fine, and it actually runs a lot smoother than it is. Now, like I said, if we turned off the um, right color buffers, this entire area would be completely black, with the exception of this bright sun that I can see right through the wall, so uh, it's pretty blinding. <laughs> it's very annoying, but there's not much I can do for that. But yeah, as you can see, um, perfectly roaming around. Here's the Xbox port, um, you know, using the D-pad, clicking on stuff, changing, changing things around, rolling, attacking, parrying, you know. Works pretty much good. So, game runs really smooth, um, especially when you use the CPU from changing it to automatic to 2 or 3. It definitely really improves and it looks really nice. So, there you guys have it. If you guys have any troubles loading, running, or having any other issues to why the game isn't working, make sure to leave comments down below. I'll definitely get back to you guys with it. Um, I'm on YouTube almost every day of my life and every second of my life. Yeah. Go figure. But uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, just go ahead and leave them down below. I'll make sure to get back to you and help you guys figure out how to pretty much run this amazing game that is, you know, a PS3 exclusive. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to. And I might be doing more of these really cool tutorials and stuff on later days. So thank you all, and I'll be seeing you all in future episodes.